Hey guys, this is another video brought to you by John's Java. Uh, today we're going to be covering interfaces and abstract classes. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing we're going to make is an abstract class. So, uh, we're going to have to use a special keyword in Java. Abstract. Big surprise, huh? Okay, the purpose of an abstract class is to write a class that other classes can extend. So, let's see, we'll make this class a person. Uh, okay, well, you write just like you would write any other class. So, our person is going to have Okay, so you see here that I have written up a standard class just like you've seen it before, except for this method. Uh, okay, well, uh, I can tell you this is an abstract method, as you can see pretty obviously. Uh, it's a method that cannot be used by itself. It has to be written in another program. And it's kind of hard to explain like this, but let me just show you. I'll just compile this and save it somewhere. Okay, so I've already taught you about inheritance. It's where you have another class like public class fireman extends person. Notice that this is not abstract. Okay, so you see here that I have created a class that is extending person. Um, we have our constructor, which has extra information, has an ID number, it has a location. Uh, and then we have uh, the abstract method, but you can see this time it's overriding this describe person method. And it's not abstract anymore. Uh, a thing to note about abstract classes, you can't actually use them as variables. All you can do is use them uh, as classes that are extended. So I couldn't make like... I wouldn't even compile it, I think. Yeah. Um, you cannot make an actual variable person because it is abstract. Although, you see this.
you can make a class that, uh, you can make a variable that is, uh, extending an abstract class. So you can make a fireman, because even though it extends person, because fireman is not abstract. Okay, and you might not see how useful this is just by looking at this. So let me write another type of person. I want to make let's see what's another type of person. Uh, Okay, so you see here that I've made another type of uh, person. This one's a programmer. Uh, both of these extend person. And now I'm going to make a tester class so that I can show you guys. Okay, so I finally have my tester program written. Um, let me just walk through exactly what's written in it. Uh, you see here I created an array list of people. And notice that person was abstract, so normally I wouldn't be able to have abstract variables. But look at what's put into the array. There's a fireman and a programmer. These aren't abstract. They're just normal classes. But they extend person, so they have, they have all of the methods that person has. See, uh, most importantly, all of them have the method describe person. So, like if I had a database of people and a database of firemen, I could add all of them to an array of people, and then I could use this loop here, which describes each of the people persons. So let's just run this real quick. And even though these are completely different people, I can print out their descriptions just like that. So Bob is a fireman. Bob is fireman number 12 of Fire Station, Raleigh Firehouse, and John is programmer is working on Alpha. Uh, okay, well that basically covers abstract methods. And an interface, it's going to be even simpler to describe.